In this video, we will demonstrate how to monitor access requests from APM users with BigIQ. Before you begin monitoring APM user sessions on BigIQ, you must first complete the following tasks. To begin, log on to your BigIQ environment with your account credentials. In the Monitoring tab, expand the Dashboards menu and scroll down to Access. Expand the Access menu and select User Summary. You can change the scope of the report by time frame or by access group or device. To do so, select an alternative time from the drop-down menu and click the time you're interested in. To generate a report for any managed Big IP device, select from the access group slash device list and select the device or group you are interested in. You can download a CSV report to view this data on your machine later. You can also refresh the statistics to coincide with recently generated data and can disable auto refresh or set it to various increments. The first statistic visualized in the graph on the top left displays the top 10 users by session count. The second indicates the top 10 users by denied session account and the third indicates the top 10 users by session duration. The second is particularly useful in troubleshooting connectivity issues for a particular user. From this page, you can see an overview of all users and sessions, and you can drill down into specific fields by clicking on any fields of interest. You can click on a particular user to see a summary of all their sessions over time. Let's look at the user with the highest number of denied sessions and see what might be going wrong with his access. In the first dashlet, you can view the session information for this user. In this area, you can view the total number of sessions, the number of denied sessions, and the total session duration for this user. In the second dashlet, you can view the client information including the number of devices used to establish a session as well as the number of unique geographic locations that the client logged in from. The third dashlet displays network access information, including the total number of network access sessions, the total bytes transferred, and the total duration of the network access. The final dashlet displays the federation information, including the total number of SAML assertions and OAuth tokens. When we look at Joshua's denied sessions, it appears as if LDAP failure is responsible for the majority of his issues in the last three months. By clicking on the reason you are interested in, you can navigate to an alternate screen where you can view all the metrics associated with this failure type. You can view the top access policies associated with this LDAP failure and can investigate the issue through the configuration tab if you think the issue may stem from the access policy tied to an access group Joshua belongs to. From this page, you may also view the virtual servers, client IPs, locations, and client OSs that were used in each denied session to help you during troubleshooting. To return to Joshua's summary page, click on his username link. If you need to kill a user's session, whether it is because that user's password was corrupted or because you noticed some suspicious activity on their account, or for whatever other reason, you can end any of the user's sessions through this user's dashboard. Search for the session you want to target, select the session, and click Kill Session. This will log the user out immediately. When you've finished, you may return to the User Summary dashboard by clicking User Summary on the top left. You can also toggle through the layers at any point through the menu bar at the top of the page. In the search bar, you can also filter by users to find a specific person to help you troubleshoot his or her connectivity issues. We hope you found this video helpful. For more information, go to askf5.com. Specific links are listed in the video's description. Thank you.